Disabled people across our city are helping shape a new accessibility guide to Bristol. It'll include comprehensive access information for a thousand buildings, including some of the most popular places to eat, drink and shop around here. And every venue's going to be checked to find out just how disabled friendly they really are. Disabled Go is behind the project. So Disabled Go is a social enterprise, so like a not-for-profit organisation, and we were set up 15 years ago um, by a guy called Gregory Burke, who was himself a wheelchair user, and was really frustrated by the lack of information available to him about accessing things in his local community. Um, so from that point onwards, we've been working with different towns and cities to provide information about the access to places to go and venues and attractions in their area. So this event was the start of our project in Bristol, and what we'll be doing is producing an online access guide to a thousand different places across the city and the real aim of today's event was to get people's ideas about what should be included and just their general feedback on what we do um, as an organisation because we work nationally but obviously this project is specific to Bristol. Um, access information is really crucial to people being able to plan on where they would like to go so what we found is that disabled people often stick to the one place that they know or find they don't go out at all because you need to know things like is there an accessible loo, can I park my car and what's the lighting like so the whole aim of disabled go is to give people that level of information so they can decide for themselves what would suit their particular needs and they can feel confident about going out and trying something new. What do you think Bristol's like in terms of its venues for disabled access? It's difficult for us to say at the moment and this part of the project will be to get a real good idea of, of the accessibility and we've worked in probably about 90 other different towns and cities and we do find the access is quite varied so you'll find that the natural geography in area can be quite challenging because obviously it's quite hilly in Bristol um, but I'm sure what we'll find is um, some venues where we think that's is going to be really good and perhaps we're surprised but equally the other way we might find some smaller properties that have actually done lots of different things to improve their access for disabled people. Disabled people should go out, they want to go out and what you have to do is make it possible for them to go out and this project will do that. It will tell you by looking at a website what places are available whether it suits you in a wheelchair or whether you're a blind person, whatever you want, you just go and do it. I found it very interesting because I didn't know anything about disabled go before. I think it's good because uh, there's lots of places in Bristol that are not accessible. Well, there's lots of barriers to, uh, to go into these places, like doorways are, are hard to open. It would give me more outlet to try and get out as a visually impaired person. We've had some really positive feedback for people who have come along and people who are here have got lots of different impairment groups. We have people with a visual impairment, perhaps people asking about hearing impairment, people who've got um, children who have a disability and are looking for changing places around Bristol. Um, so people have been very positive about the project um, but are really keen to give their ideas as to what they'd like to see featured and also to get involved because we'll be looking at people locally to see whether they'd like to do some of the surveying along with all of our own team because the crucial thing that we do is make sure that anywhere that we feature on our website has been visited and assessed in person.